Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Spinach Zola card to review today. We're taking a look at a card who is uh, four star, four star, uh, medium, medium work rates for the attacking and defending. Uh, and then we are also looking at a card that is six foot one, right? So uh, with Spinach Zola and the way that his card is formatted, um, I think my boy Aaron ended up giving him an anchor chemistry style for the physical boost and for the pace boost as well as the defensive boost, which definitely makes a lot of sense because 97 acceleration with 99 sprint speed is uh, pretty decent to work with, obviously, as it is. Um, with a card like this, you could potentially give him a hunter chemistry style if you actually want to make him your more uh, aggressive oriented attacker in your team uh, that could potentially score more opportunities do i think it would make sense to give him that not necessarily because those shooting stats are going to be pretty inconsistent for how the game kind of plays out so definitely makes the most sense to give him uh, the anchor chemistry style for the physical boost defensive boost and pace boost uh, because of different variables right so with a card that plays in the left back position four star four star capabilities there's a lot of things you can work with when it comes to spinach solo uh, you can use them obviously as a fullback you can use them as a left mid or right mid in a 352 however he doesn't really offer like a crazy good attacking presence like alfonso davies for instance like that card in that area of the pitch is great because of that shooting presence that he has right with spinach zola uh, he has a high and average plus body type with the dribbling stats that he has, right? So the dribbling stats that he has are phenomenal for a player playing in the defensive positions, uh, but might not necessarily be phenomenal in the attack. Uh, I could see his dribbling being good from time to time, obviously, because of the way that it's set up. The only thing that's low is the 82 for balance. So I expect his dribbling in the defensive positions, in the midfield position to be decent. Uh, but in the attacking positions, once I'm inside the 18-yard box, I do feel like the balance uh, will kind of mess with the card a little bit uh, because of the 82 with six foot one height and a high and average plus body type. I do think that all of those things into consideration um, will affect the card in a way, right? So we'll see, obviously. Uh, we're going to be mostly playing him in the left mid position on 3-5-2 to test him out, attacking and defensive-wise to see what he's like, right? Uh, shooting, like I said, for base card stats at 80 shot power is decent to work with. If he does get into a position, he could potentially score those opportunities. Uh, passing stats, very, very good. You don't have to look at that too much. Uh, his base card stats for physical and defending is already set up really nicely so that when you do give him the anchor chemistry style uh the card definitely looks like a very solid player to have in the fullback position so with spinazzola guys we will be trying him out in a 352 tactic uh, as we have been with the other players as well uh we're gonna be trying him out in this 352 with press after possession loss so he'll be playing in the left mid uh position with the tactic of stay wide and get into the box with the cross it's good to try him out there because what happens is that you actually rotate with all of the midfielders in this formation. Uh, sometimes the CDMs go out wide and then the left mids, right mids go through the middle. My Juan Console does it all the time for my main team. Um, so definitely expect that to happen a lot with uh, Spinach Solis card in game. Um, if you guys haven't seen my team, by the way, this is what it looks like now. This account is complete fodder. I don't play this game regularly uh, because I don't like it at all. So that's why... I, there's this team it's portuguese you know like that's pretty much like what it is uh i use players that are not necessarily full meta but they're just fun to use uh because of who they are i think this account is 1960 skill rating i usually go up and down in the beginning of the year because of the content creation part of things but don't really need to do that and th on this account anymore barely play on it though 1969 for this uh skill rating over here i do wonder how high i would go but at the same time i don't care because the mechanics are terrible anyway so uh, it's whatever right so um yeah let's try spin it out in the left mid position and uh we'll see how he performs in game oh spin it sola love it oh I try to get like the shot cancel angle there. Honestly, I don't even think I require it. I could probably just shoot it right away. Nice, man. So a good defensive play there. Love that. Hey, man, started from somewhere, eh? Started from somewhere. It was a good defensive play by him. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to go backwards there. Spinach Zola is a big player, man. Holy. Okay, 
gets involved in the attack right there too. It's perfectly fine. Pushes the player out of position too. Nice, Vansola. Oh, dribbling under pressure, he does well there too. Nice, great run there by Foden. Well done, great goal, great goal. Guys doing the skill move cancels, eh? But Spinazzola's there for the taking, my boy. Love that. Spinazzola. Getting into the position. Yeah, with this 3-5-2, there's always like constant rotations with like the left mids, right mids, center mids pushing on the inside. Spinazzola occupies that middle position well because he has really good defensive stats. No chance I don't score that opportunity. Oh my goodness. Shoots it right at the goalkeeper. Nice, Pensola. Way to be in the right position at the right time. Oh, Spensola. Gameplay is awful right now, but he's still doing work for me, man. Nice. Had to get the uh, double ball roll right there for the uh, consistent finish. Let's go. Spinazzola, you know, his physical is not too bad. I've noticed it in a few occasions again. I mean, I wish I could chip that, but definitely not going to happen there. He pulls out the goalie like an idiot, and his defender goes in the net, so... Yeah, in that situation there, the attacking AI is completely terrible, so... We just kind of have to... You have to use the target lock, probably, from there, but... Hey, you know what? He does a bad throw in right there. We collected the ball of Spinazzola. We'll score that. Thank you. Yeah, I had to control Spinazzola right away there. It's good, though. And that's why you overcommit the challenge right there, so you can actually get the, the tackle off. Solo with the interception, too. Makes the run right there, too. Hold on. Ah. It's the... He has, like, a... Um, like, he's not, like, crazy to use as, like, a, an attacking-oriented um, fullback. Like, it is someone that you do want to mostly keep on stay back while attacking. Because he does have that sway to his dribble. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Spinazzola card. So this is definitely the type of card that you want to use mostly in the defensive positions. On the anchor chemistry style, guys, you are looking at a very, very solid player in the defensive areas, right? So left back, right back, uh, center back position, this card is going to be phenomenal to work with in-game. We were using him in the left mid, center defensive mid, and right mid position. Uh, left mid, right mid, center defensive mid, yeah. And um, yeah, we were just testing him out attacking and defensive wise. So obviously for the attacking part of the card, uh, because he's six foot one with the body type that he has, uh, he's not necessarily crazy to work with in those attacking areas, especially when you're inside the 18 yard box, because you definitely feel the balance of the card because of the six foot one height and the high and average plus body type. But 
in the defensive positions, this card was really, really good to work with. Uh, again, fullbacks, center back position, very, very good. Defensive awareness on this card was phenomenal to work with. Medium, medium work rates is perfectly fine to have in those areas, especially in the center back position too. Uh, because a card like this, right, if you were to give him a shadow and play him on seven chemistry in the middle of the pitch, right, like in the center back position, with a four-star, four-star capability and high dribbling stats, you're going to be looking at a very, very solid defensive player to be played in the meta of this gameplay, right? So it's a card that you can use on seven chemistry, 10 chemistry. Defensively, he's going to be very solid. He was really good to work with on a physical level. Uh, defensive level was fantastic as well. It was just the attack that I don't recommend using him in. He's not like a, a Cancelo type player, like team of the season Cancelo. Uh, I always compare it to this card. He has a unique body type, the way that his stats are set up. His shooting, because he has 99 shot power, it's nice to use in the right mid position. You do notice the 73 finishing from time to time, obviously, but the 99 shot power, very, very helpful. Unfortunately, Spinazzola does not have that shot power, nor does he have the work rates and a few other things too. But uh, like I said, guys, very good card to use in the defensive positions if you want to use them there. Uh, pretty cheap considering... Uh, the links you could definitely work with. People don't really go for Syria nowadays, so I understand why people are not getting him, but it was a very solid card for what it was, man, in my opinion. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.